This is a short history of Rishi Sunak and Brexit. From his leadership bid onwards, it's been apparent that Rishi Sunak thinks a flashy video or a well-staged PR stunt will win him appeal. Let us take you back to the referendum in 2016. At the time, Rishi was a young MP under increasing pressure from his bosses to back Remain. Unfortunately, from not knowing how contactless works... One of my New Year's promises to you was to grow the economy. To being fined for not wearing a seatbelt. You will be aware that a video has been circulating on social media showing an individual failing to wear a seatbelt while a passenger in a moving car in Lancashire. After looking into this matter, we have today issued a 42-year-old man from London with a conditional offer of fixed penalty. Usually, the end result is anything but flashy. Sunak can't even dish up food to the homeless without putting his foot in it. Superb job. Right, that's that. That's the cutlery. Let me get... We've got the economy out. Well, that is exactly what I'm trying to do. Exactly what I'm trying to do. Uh, there's a business. What, what do you have? A, you, do you work in a business? Do you want some no, fruit? No, I'm, I'm homeless. And now we have this bright idea, a programme that gets Sunak to wish you a happy new year. Except people quickly saw the potential for fun and got Sunak to wish Nigel Farage a Happy New Year. Hi Nigel, I just wanted to take a moment to wish you a very Happy New Year. Now, like you, I think immigration levels are too high. So I hope you know that today and every day throughout 2024, whether I'm working in my office in Downing Street or at home in Yorkshire, I will deliver for you. The big question here is, who has Sunak got running his PR? They obviously haven't got the ability to work out potential cock-ups and embarrassments. Boo-hoo! Poor Tory Hugh is being made fun of by the BBC.